Hello everyone, BG here reporting from Android, your daily feed for all things Android. Today we will be taking a quick look at the Nova Launcher 5.0 beta update. It has been around 6 months since the release of Android Nougat and the features are definitely appealing. One of the great features include app shortcuts. Now what this simply means is that you will be able to perform actions which can be run right from your home screen instead of going inside the app. Of course this was present in the iPhone way back as Force Touch. Now this was actually a part of the hardware. Now what Android has done is that they have included this as a part of the software. So if you long press an icon, you will be able to perform a lot of actions. Nova Launcher has decided to bring this to previous iterations of Android. Now to be fair, Action Launcher 3 did come up with this first, but I just love Nova Launcher and I can't wait to test this out. Also a point to be noted is that you need the premium version of either launcher to try out this feature. The Action Launcher launched for about four dollars in the play store while the nova launcher is about a dollar less first of all to install the nova launcher beta you have got to go into play store search for nova launcher and then go and update it to your latest beta now i have already installed the app so i don't have to do that pull up shortcuts to your home screen now this can be done using widgets or you can just search for the app and drag it onto your home screen now if you long press on the app, you can see various options. The Google app has a type search and then a voice search option. I'll demonstrate some of the other apps. Play Music will give you the options of recent activity and the option to access your library and to play random music. The key publication gives you the ability to add a new audio note, add a new photo, new list or a new text note. Hangouts on the other hand will give you the ability to place a voice call, to place a video call and to chat with someone. You know what's interestingly funny here, Google doesn't support most of its own apps. The Analytics is an official app made by Google and released by them in the Play Store. However, when I long press on the Analytics application, I don't have any custom shortcuts. Of course, this is still in beta and a lot of apps are yet to be supported. Oh, and don't forget to like this video if you did. Put your suggestions down below. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hello everyone, BG here, back with another video. And today, what? Oh.